Hi, I'm Melissa Witzleben, uh, 19 years old. Uh, I'm an Aries. Uh, I'm from season one. Hopefully you remember me. I'm a lifeguard at Dearborn Country Club. So, you know, I'm pretty used to these outdoor conditions. I work outside all the time, saving lives, saving people from drowning. You know, I'm just really ready for this season to get my vengeance on certain people and to also get the chance I didn't get to have last season due to a terrible, terrible rock draw, which has now made me very sensitive to the color beige and to the appearance of a rock. I definitely, season one, uh, I did not focus on looking for idols at all. I was just kind of like, everyone looked around and I, I didn't even bother looking for an idol, but it'd be really convenient to have, like, just to have on you because you never know. I guess try to, like, get more connections with everyone in the game, alliances. But a big factor, too, is going to be uh, entertainment this season, see how, see how good we can make this, you know. Gotta, gotta have some good uh, plot lines and good comedy, I guess, per se. I would assume maybe they might see, like, coming in, especially because I know a lot of the players, they might see me as a threat that I would already have alliances, which, you know, I do. But I hopefully think, I hope that I just can, like, stay at that line of mediocrity where they won't try to, like, target me first or anything at all. Maybe, like, go for other power players or the weak links and just, like, keep myself, like, right in the middle of, like, not going on anyone's radar. Okay. Uh, if I could play with any person from Season 1 or 2 of Survivor Dearborn, It'd probably be um, Valvina and Haley Divis, because I mean, I'm really like, they're my best friends back outside of the game, so it kind of be interesting to see what it's like to play with your like really close friends. And I know Val would definitely come in as a power player, so I would be interested to see if he'd be someone I'd want as an ally or like how he would take the game, because I got to watch how he played the game last time. He did it pretty well with his, with his, uh, I would guess, reputation coming in. And I'd also like to play with Haley to see if. One, we would be probably a good ally, but the way she played, underplayed, seriously, in season two, kind of showed that either if I could, like, help her and, like, take her some far, maybe to, like, the final three or final, final two with me for this season would be interesting. So hopefully I can see their two faces on the show. If not, well, we'll work with what we got. If I could avoid playing with someone from season one or two, I'd have to go with Sean O'Connor because... He's just a heartbreaker, you know, the way he just bats those eyes at you. I just want to stay focused on the game, so I hope he's not out there distracting me in the season like he did in season one. And I just, you know, I don't think I could handle a heartbreak in with all of the intensity of the game. So, you know, sorry, Sean. You can watch this show and get into it, but, like, this, like, emotionally absorbs you for a lot of your life. Like, you will talk about it all the time. It's all you think about. And like, I just can't like the thought and I'm just a really competitive person. So getting out early would honestly kill me. So I hope you don't do like a flashback to me saying getting out early would kill me if I get out early because that would, that would kill me. And I just really, I want to win because one, I need money. I'm a broke college student. Uh, I lost my wallet recently. And two, I, I want like the title of Soul Survivor of Dearborn. But also this season, I just like, now that I know the game, I'm a little more relaxed and like I'm gonna have people who I know, hopefully a lot of Purple Tribe people coming back. Uh, like I'm all here for like a good blind side or like, you know, like backstabbing. Like it's just, it's such a rush, you know, and I, I'm just really excited to go out there and it's gonna be tough. Three days this time, it's gonna be hot. Um, it's two, hopefully I will be able to spend the two full nights outside and I won't get attacked by a giant moth again. But if Dominic Rayona could survive being constipated for over 30 days, I think I can survive living in Dearborn for three.